What pray tell are you doing? Um, Cannon Plums, to be precise. Cannon Plums. How long did you cook the plums for? We did two minutes with heat on, then we let stand for anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how long you feel you need or how deeply you want to cook them. Then after this, since we're going to do it by the core, since we got so many, we're going to put them into the hot water bath to process after we fill the jar. And then, if we were doing this in pine, so it'd be 20 minutes, but with a quart, we do it for 25 and boiling water that covers the entire can. And we do all of this in a simple sugar syrup which is, <clears throat> depending on how you want it, it's either three cups to a quart of water for a medium syrup, two cups for a light syrup, or you can make a heavy syrup, but for fruit, that's not necessary because it's just way too sweet if you do that. Or if you need sweet tooth and you like it sweet. Then you're gonna get diabetes. where you're gonna fill up any extra space with the juice to help preserve it. You want about a half of an inch of head space. But mm -hmm. doesn't hurt if you have less. You clean up the seal. Then you have your lids over here that have been boiled to help expand them. So they're gonna sit better and also be cleanly. Place that on here. You take one of your rings all Yes. Then you start sealing. Then from here you adjust your lids to as tight as you can get it. But since this is all still hot, I use a towel and twist as as I can until... Twisting and turning and turning and turning. And now I'm using the tongs to lower into the steam and water bath, which we will turn to a boil. Yeah, so you gotta keep a keep a tight grip on that. Yes. Does it have enough water? We need more water to cover the lids. Hmm. I mean, how long do you cook that for? For the quartz, 25 minutes. If it was the smaller ones at pines, it'd be 20 minutes. Hmm. Interesting. Cannon plums. <laughs> 